Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we are going to set up SAML single sign-on for ASP.NET Web Applications using one login as IDP. Let's start. To download and install the Mini Orange ASP.NET SAML module follow the link displayed on the screen or you can also click on the link mentioned in the description of the video. After installation open the browser and browse the module dashboard with the URL showing on screen. Register or log in for configuring the module. This module is compatible with all the IDPs shown on the screen and all other SAML 2.0 compliant IDPs. You can see the plugin settings here. For configuring the module we will be using one login as IDP. Let's configure the one login as IDP. Log in to your one login admin account. Click on applications and select applications from the dropdown. Click on add app button. Now search for SAML connector in the search box and click on it. Enter the display name as your choice and click on Save button. Now go to Configuration tab. Here you need to fill up the audience URL and the ACS URL which you get from the SP Metadata. For SP Metadata go to ASP.NET SAML module. You will find the Service Provider Metadata on the right side of the screen. You can have three options to provide metadata to your IDP. Copy the SP Entity ID and paste it into the Audience URL field in one login. Copy the ACS URL and paste it into the ACS Validator URL and ACS URL field. Select SAML Name ID Format as Email. Click on Save button. Now click on the Parameters tab. Click on the plus button to add the attributes as per your choice. Enable the Include in SAML Assertion option. Click on Save button. Go to the SSO tab, you can find the IDP metadata here, copy the issuer URL it will be required later. Now go to the ASP.NET SAML module. Click on Upload IDP Metadata button. Paste the issuer URL here which is copied from one login and click on the Fetch Metadata button. You can see the URLs are auto-filled. Scroll down and click on the Save button and after that click on the Test Configuration button to test the configuration. On successful test configuration you will get the user attributes. Click on Configure Attribute Mapping button. You will be redirected to the Attribute Mapping section where you will see that the user attribute is an auto field. If you want to change the attribute, you can do so. Click on Save Attribute Mapping button. To integrate the module go to the Integration Code tab. Just copy-paste that code snippet wherever you want to access the user attributes. I have pasted this code snippet here. Add the URL which is showing on the screen, as a link in your application from where you want to perform SSO. For example, I am using this link like this. Let's see how it works. Go to your application and click on the link which you have added for SSO. Now log in with your OneLogin credentials. You have successfully logged into your ASP.NET web application. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions please drop us a query at info at